Hello, my name is the CC. Today I want to talk about 2021 first month in RuneScape. Jagex made some unique changes to old school RuneScape. First of all, on January 6th, Soul Wars were released. Soul Wars are new members only minigame involving fierce combat and territory control. To play Soul Wars you'll need a total level of 500 or higher, a combat level of 40 or higher and old school RuneScape membership. Once you've gone through Nomad's tutorial, you may enter game of Soul Wars by stepping into one of the waiting rooms in the lobby. This minigame brought a lot of people to play but it had some major bugs and glitches. Like players couldn't connect to Soul Wars minigame because there was too many players in the lobby and the minigame simply crashed. Nobody could join. Another major issue is that the end game people who have the best gear will always win. So basically mid level players will have no chance on defeating the old bad boys. My suggestion would be to add mage, range and attack roles with specific armor similar to barbarian assault. By participating in the minigame you would earn points and then you could upgrade your gear. Soul Wars reward shop, you can buy experience, imbues, you'll be able to use zeal tokens to imbue specific items and improve their effects. Although this system is functionally identical to the one at the Nightmare Zone, you can trade imbued items between the two shops. Soul Cape. This swish a bit of gear looks just like one doomed during the minigame and comes in blue and red. So you can show your support for your favorite team. Ectoplasmator. Carrying this device in your inventory will net you extra prayer experience when killing ghostly creatures. The XP given scales with the HP of the creature. You will need 40 prayer to purchase this item. Lucky Dip. You'll have the chance to win goodies from all new Soul Wars loot table. And Avatar Pet. As well, RuneScape has been here for 20 years and Jagex is celebrating it like a boss. On 11th of January, old school RuneScape saw a very bad news post, Jagex announced item duplication report. Jagex said that they were getting a lot of reports of item duplication and they are investigating this. I heard that this duplication works when you get the seed and somehow the item you had in, in inventory duplicates. But this is something that I heard, I didn't saw it with my own eyes. Just imagine if this would be true. Third date items, end game gear, just insane how much money could be doubled. I hope that Jagex will find a solution for this fast since it can ruin the old school RuneScape economy very very fast. On 13th of January, we had an update with God Wars Dungeon. All four God Wars Dungeon Generals now have their own shared Iron Man instances. If you're an Iron Man, upon entering one of the boss rooms, you'll be transported to the shared Iron Man instance. Regular players can't enter this place, although other Iron players can, which means you have much less chance of being inconvenienced during your battle. The peak option at the door of each room will show you how many players are already in the Iron Man instance for that boss. You can also check the braziers outside the rooms. If the brazier is lit, that means someone's in there. Regular players won't see the brazier or be able to access the Iron Man instances. On 20th of January, Jagex improves Barbarian Assault and Puro Puro. There are some new Impling spawns around Gilenor, although Implings do not spawn any faster. Crop cycles may now appear in 10 new locations, including some new wheat fields and existing fields that were previously crop circle free. You may find crop circles appearing south of Taverly, Mosla Harmless, Harmony, Hasidius, the Farming Guild, Gwyneth, Gnome Stronghold, Caterby, Brimhaven and South Kingstown. Enter these circles, gain the Farmer's Affinity bonus and go to Puro Puro minigame. Farmer's Affinity when traveling to Puro Puro to the overworld crop fields, players receive a 30 minute buff allowing them to push through the wheat faster. Players can now toggle whenever or not they get strength XP from this minigame. Chat to Elnak about the wheat to toggle this option. Players can now store butterfly net, imp repellent and up to 1000 jars with Elnak. He also has a quick withdraw option letting you grab the necessary equipment in one move. Elnog is now able to trade a small number of jars, they are 2000 GP each and have a daily purchase limit of 10. Jagex made a number of improvements to Barbarian Assault, 
plus sprinkled in a few extra to boost your experience. Machines are now more streamlined and players can click out of the process. The player should be able to call whilst interacting with the machine. Repairing traps is now quicker. The defender machine gives the defender a hammer. Pen and skill counters are now updated more predictably in the Barbarian Assault Waves. X have been remodeled so that they are colorblind friendly. Fake XP drops have been added since no regular XP is gained. Jagex added flashing calls to let you know when a call is changing. On 21st of January, Jagex proposed nerfing and gave items since they think that they are too powerful and should be nerfed. Let's see what Jagex proposes. Grazy Reaper, current requirement 75 attack, proposes 80 attack. Blade of Shelter, current requirement 75 attack, proposes 80 attack. Inquisitor's Maze, current 75 attack, proposes 80 attack. Trident of the Swamp, current requirement is 75 magic, proposes 78. Sanguinesti Staff, current requirement is 75 magic, proposes 82. Kodai Wine, current requirement is 75 magic, Jagex proposes 80. Nightmare Staff, current requirement 65, proposes 72. Nightmare Staff with any orb attached, current requirement is 75 magic, proposed requirement is 82. Dragon Hunter Crossbow, current requirement is 65 range, proposed is 70. Dragon Hunter Lands, at the moment 70, Jagex proposes to 78. Sight of Vitor, current requirement is 75, proposes to 85. 10 levels more, oh boy. Nate is not face guard, current strength bonus is plus 6, and Jagex wants to nerf it to plus 5. Oh boy. Twisted Bow current requirement is 75 range, proposed requirements are 85. Current prayer bonus plus 4 and proposes prayer bonus to 0. Twisted Bow could get really really nerfed. Dense Bulwark adding minus 25 magic defense, reduce melee defense bonus by 25. Okay, that's a lot of nerfing. Toxic Blowpipe reduces dots accuracy and strength for about 30%. Okay, Toxic Blowpipe, bye bye. Toxic Blowpipe may fall in price since this nerf, oh boy, 30% is a lot. And a lot of other armor and item nerfs, I talked about the main ones, but you can read more about them in RuneScape page. I will leave a link in the description for you to see. I hope that you enjoyed this short 2021 recap video. If you did, smack that like button, subscribe for future uploads, and as always guys, have a nice day.